Don't make this interest rate mistake. I'm hearing some people say that they're going to wait to buy a home when interest rates go down, which assumes that interest rates go down and they're especially comparing it to the 2 and 3% averages we saw over the last couple of years. Well, if you look at the last 50 years of interest rate averages, you will have never seen until 2020 averages in the 2 and 3%. Now think about it. The reason that we had 2 and 3% interest rates is because the government shut down, the whole world shut down, the economy shut down. The government intervened in two big ways. One of the ways that they intervened was that they created stimulus checks to help stimulate the economy. The other way was that they dropped interest rates to help encourage people to buy houses. And of course, what happened, everybody and their mother wanted to go ahead and buy homes. Why is it that the government wanted to decrease interest rates to encourage people to buy homes? Because they know that when people buy homes, they buy brooms and couches and chairs and hammers. They fill their homes with all sorts of things. That means that when they buy a home, they buy everything else, which also stimulates the economy. So if you're waiting for interest rates to go down to unheard of 2020 rates, well, then you might be waiting for a very long time. And the fact of the matter is, prices over the next five years are anticipated to go up an average of 23%. So don't let the interest rate stop you. Marry the house and date the rate.